Friends, domestic violence is evil, but it is real and we must know how to protect ourselves from it. Want to take your knowledge beyond the narrated videos? Join us on Active Self Protection Extra and subscribe for multiple videos every week to help you get better in your defensive skills. Hi everyone, this is John with today's Active Self Protection lesson out of Turkey. Here we're going to see a man attack his wife in the middle of a domestic argument. And we're going to learn important lessons here about the nature and the core of domestic violence, about stepping into third party encounters, and unfortunately, we're going to have to talk about spiritual fitness. There's a news story attached to this one that you need Google Translate to read, but you can see the aggression here as this woman and her husband, who are both in the upper left corner, are clearly arguing here. They're, they're estranged and he's known to have problems. So there's some audio here that's very important as this thing ramps up. So we're going to listen in. It, it's definitely harrowing. And then we'll come back and we'll learn some lessons when this is over. <laughs> And then you can see they, they just leave her there. You know, a guy walks by and, and nobody even helps her at this point while she spends her final moments figuring out what was wrong with her life. Let's go back now and let's look at some significant lessons out of this one. First of all, there's some cultural things here. Of course, that the way that things go in Turkey and the way things go in the U.S. is significantly different. But I do think that regardless of anything else, we have an opportunity and a responsibility to protect those who are vulnerable against those who would do them harm. And we see that in this instance. Now, as you see him cock his hand back there, that's when you know that things are going to get violent. You see that threat of violence there when he raises his hand to her and I don't care about culturally or what these other people are standing around wondering what he's gonna do you know at that point he's willing and he's ready to do violence so you have to either get the heck out of there hose this guy down with some pepper spray or figure something out now when he starts futzing around inside his pockets he's not going for anything good there he's not gonna go get his ID or his cell phone that's the time to stuff whatever it is that he's doing now's the time to put hands on him if you're gonna defend this lady here or if you are this woman and you got to defend yourself now he finally goes and he starts to get a knife there and you notice at that person started to kind of get after him and now he's got that knife out and he's going and and listen when a knife attack comes your way you got to recognize yes this is going to hurt yes this is going to be bad but I have to defend myself with everything that's in me because this is a deadly force incident you see this young man here that's at the desk he puts his hand up lets the guy go right by him and then runs off while the man attacks his wife now listen, that he may not earn that fight or whatever, and, and, and I recognize that everybody gets the right to decide whose fight am I going to get into, but sometimes something so shocks the conscience of humanity that you have to step in. This is one that me personally, I would have had to step in. Of course, you get to make that decision for yourself. Then, as we already listened to this, friends, you got to recognize the reality that a real attack like this is visceral, it's ugly, it's mean, and, and friends, this is the kind of thing that happens in real life, thankfully not that common, but to dismiss it as it doesn't happen is simply to put your head in the sand. And finally, friends, of course, we need to talk about spiritual fitness. This woman didn't wake up that day thinking that she was going to be murdered. She woke up that day to live her life. But this is why I say all the time, you got to have spiritual fitness, man. Not only staying in the fight, but once it's going to go over like this, she didn't have much of a chance against this man. But you have to recognize that no one's coming to save you, and you ought to have made sure that every single person in your life that you need to tell you love, that you've done so, that you've said everything you need to say, and that you and Jesus have a strong relationship because you may not have any advance notice of the last day of your life, and so you want to make sure that you have that in that moment so that if you do get are going to meet him that day that you're ready for that. All in all, nothing but negative lessons out of this one and hard lessons to learn at that. Let's learn about stepping into someone else's challenge, defending the weak, understand how knife attacks develop, and then defending ourselves against them effectively and having spiritual fitness in case we can't to cover our ASP.